back to the Off Grid family. Today I'm going to be approaching a subject that I've wanted to do since I first heard about them, which is build a wind turbine. I'm thinking at the moment I'm going to be building two vertical and one horizontal. That can change, I might end up building just two of one or whatever. So I've got a few motors in mind, so I'll talk you through them. This is just a short introduction of, um, just to explain what I'm going to do with what. So let me show you the motors first. This is one of the motors I wasn't even considering doing, but um, I had a little fiddle with it and I've actually been able to get it up to a solid 12 volts when it's on its full rotation, um, going its fastest. So what I'm thinking of doing is just making a very small portable wind turbine that will actually allow us to charge phones when we're out and about. That's just going to be like a little hobby one, that isn't any anything special there. This one I've managed to get to 12 volts as I say but it's um, AC so it'll have to go through a H-bridge rectifier first of some kind whether I make it or whether I got one lying around so I'll do that this one is purpose better bought for wind turbines it's only a little thing it gets up to around 33 volts DC so I'm going to have this just charging one car battery which will um, power some outdoor lighting um, along our path and everything. Well that's the plan anyway. And then there's this one. If you watch any of my videos you will have seen me acquire this one out of a uh, treadmill. Let me just turn it around to get all the bits and pieces. This is 175 uh, 1.75 horsepower uh, 180 volts DC and its max uh, speed is 4400 revolutions per minute um, I haven't had a chance to properly test this one at any kind of speed but I'm gonna hopefully do that in the next couple of days so I'll give you a proper readout of the voltage we get out of this I've span it just very slowly and I've got about 9 to 10 volts out of it and that's just literally spinning it by hand like this Nothing, nothing, out, you know, over the top. I want to actually, before I do anything with this, have a look at getting inside it and see if I can actually clean it up a bit and take this flywheel off. Some flywheels screw off and some flywheels you need to, well, use a lot of brute force. If that's the case, then I don't think I'll get rid of it because I don't want to damage the actual motor. But I am going to have a look inside this. Okay, so that's the motors, that's going to be the thing that actually generates the power. And this piping will be the stuff that I actually make the um, turbine blades out of, uh, for the vertical wind turbines anyway. This is some uh, waste pipe, and it is 110mm uh, by 3.2mm, and I have a couple of sections of this. Now, I'll just give you a quick sneak peek. This will be the kind of blade I'll show you how to make. Uh, extremely efficient and made out of that pipe. As this will be a series, it will be cut up into different segments and I'm going to start off showing you how to make the blades for the actual wind turbines. Now, for the horizontal wind turbine, I'm thinking of using something different and going a completely different approach with that. So I will show you that as I make it, I think because I need to make sure certain bits work and so on. But I will first off, the first part of this series, when I get it out, will be how to make the wind turbine blades. So that's a little sneak peek into what's coming up next. If you haven't subscribed already, please do um, press subscribe. Also, if you want to be alerted, you have to now press the cog thing or whatever. But um, I will hopefully get out how to make the wind turbine blades as soon as possible. And you can actually follow the process along the way with me. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.